Hey, I'm Eric Crawford from WDRB Sports here at Cardinal Stadium. And yes, just over my shoulder here, those are dumpsters. But no, they are not on fire, at least not yet. But I'm not going to stand too close to them all the same. You know, when you have a press conference after you've lost a game as a 16 and a half point favorite at Boston College, it promises to have a few little awkward moments. And that certainly was the case for Scott Satterfield on Tuesday earlier here inside Cardinal Stadium. We'd like to bring you a quick recap. It was a 20 minute press conference, but just in a couple of minutes, I'll catch you up on the key things that he said. You know there's going to be some changes when there's a loss like that and when your record is two and three and your backs are really against the wall. There's going to be some rearranging of deck chairs. As we say, what were the changes that Scott Satterfield rolled out? Well, in particular, he says he's going to take a more active role with the defense. Here's what he said. I think for, for, for me um, in running this program, I think there's some things certainly that need to be different. I think um, I've got to spend more time uh, helping all the facets of the game, particularly off, uh, defensively um, and on special teams. And so this week, that's what I'm doing. I'm spending more time on that side of the ball um, starting as soon as we got back. Um, and it'll be that way all the rest of the, the rest of this time. Um, if I can help out the defense in any way, looking at it from an offensive perspective like I would do to help those guys out. And if we can help, if I can help two to three plays, maybe that's the two to three plays that'll be the difference to win football games. Um, you know, we're certainly in the business of winning, and, that, and that's, that's where we've fallen short. We have to win these games, and if I can help in that any way I can. Coach Taylor and the offensive staff have done a great job. They'll be a lot more involved in, in play calling um, and in running the offensive side of the ball. And um, they've done a really nice job this year with that. In our last three games, we've scored over 30 points, um, you know, and, and, and moved the football and done some really nice things. The other important thing that Satterfield said on Tuesday was to update the status of Malik Cunningham, quarterback who left in the fourth quarter of the game against Boston College and did not return with a suspected concussion type issue. Satterfield gave a fairly lengthy update on Cunningham, all of which was just to say he's day to day. You know, status for Malik, I think, you know, obviously that's a big question. He came out of the game um, on the targeting penalty and there was a TV time out there. He went and got checked out by our doctors. I was able to come back in the game. Uh, felt great. I was talked to him um, after that play. Um, felt really good about it. Came back in and did some really good things. Took another shot later on in the game. Um, came off to the sideline. Felt a little different after that shot. Saw our doctors. And uh, doctors uh, pulled him from the game uh, at that point. And, and then we continue to play with Brock. And, uh, you know, his status now is a day-to-day. -day. It'll be determined upon our doctors of what they will allow him to do. Um, if he's able to, to, to go, then obviously he'll go. If, if they say he's not ready, then, then we, we won't go. So he'll be listed as day-to-day -day, um, and to be determined of our doctors say, and our doctors do a fabulous job. Um, when, as you guys know, I mean, any, any time there's any kind of injury, you know, the doctors are going to give the, the, the go ahead to play or not play. And it's not any coaches or any, any uh, training staff when it comes to that, uh, those type injuries. Um, and those guys do a fabulous job, uh, unbelievable job. You know, it, I don't know what they termed it as, but it was, he, you know, he was dizzy, you know, probably concussion like symptoms. Finally, I think the best way to convey the mood of this press conference came in the very last question, which was from WDRB's Rick Bozich when he asked why now Satterfield is getting more involved on the defensive side in year four. Here was Satterfield's answer. You mentioned you'd be more involved with defense mm -hmm. and special teams. What is anything specifically prompt you to, to sort of make this change at this point now in year four? Yeah, losing games. That's it. Got to find ways to win, man. All right. Thanks, guys. And that, as we say, was that. Everything was done. We will see how Louisville fares. You can read more about this press conference. Rick Bozich has a column at WDRB. We'll have more coverage of the Cardinals through the week. Heading into Saturday's game, at Virginia, Louisville again a favorite in that game. We'll see if they can stop the slide there.
for now, from Cardinal Stadium, I'm Eric Crawford for WDRB Sports.